to shoot for Chris Paul. Devin Book is at half court talking to the fans. Paul for three, puts it in. 118 to 92, the Suns have blown it open. Paul gets inside. Looks back, nobody near him. Hits the jumper. 26 for Paul, the lead up to 18. Paul step back, three-pointer, puts it in, and the foul! Chance for a four-point play! The conference finals are done. The Phoenix Suns, for the first time in 28 years, are going back to the NBA Finals. Chris Paul is in the NBA Finals. What do you think when you hear that sentence? Man, it sounds damn good. Damn good. It's been a lot of work, man. A lot of work, going to a new team, everybody staying the course. That team fight hard. T. Lou, unbelievable coach. Chauncey Billups, my big brother, so many ties to that team. But damn, this feel good. Here's two against Denver. Game four here against the Clippers. Can they get another one in advance to the finals? Alley oop, pull! Right on target to Mikhail Bridges. It's Jackson on. Paul has to hoist up the three-pointer. Rattles it in. Chris Paul. The offensive end. No doubt about it. It's only the seventh game in the playoffs he's played as Chris Paul hits that mid-range jump. And it's the high pick and roll defense that gives Cousins a little problem as we see. As we were talking about off of the pick and roll, Chris Paul forcing the help and the drop off pass. They're getting whatever they When the three wasn't working for him, now in rhythm. Chris Paul in much better rhythm. Aaron Gaines bridges to Paul. Paul gets in the paint, floats it up, shot is good. Chris Paul able to knock it down. Chris Paul left open, has plenty of time, three-pointer. That's good. Paul from down. Chris Paul one-on-one -on -one with Cousins. Shot clock at seven. Paul, little shake and bake, drives past him, left-handed layup, it's good! Paul with four to shoot, Paul puts up a three, puts it in, Chris Paul from downtown! A foul on eight was his second, 14-point lead, and it gone by here in the fourth, Paul to the basket, lays it up and in! Paul gets inside, looks back, nobody near him, hits the jumper! 26 for Paul in the lead, up to 18. 6.6 6 assists for Chris Paul. There's the screen set by Aiton. Paul, pull up jumper, puts it in. Chris Paul does it again. Paul, step back, three-pointer, puts it in, and the foul. Chance for a four-point play. Upset at what happened on the last play. Paul George took him down one-on-one, -on -one, returns the favor. CP3. And the foul. Deals and a 21 point lead for his sons. Paul gets inside, flips it up, and in. Chris Paul dominating right there. Never now. happened before. A team making the finals after missing the playoffs for 10 years or more. Paul putting on the finishing touches. What a performance. Devin Book is at half court talking to the fans. Paul for three, puts it in. 18 to 92, the Suns have blown it open. Both coaches emptying the benches. So much emotion for Chris Paul. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. The finals are done. The Phoenix Suns, for the first time in 28 years, are going back to the NBA Finals. And here in the Western Conference Finals, they had a lot of help from a lot of people. Little Wayne and the support that he has shown, the love he has shown to the Phoenix Suns, believing in them, supporting them, being around them. He wants to be part of this celebration. Let's go to Rachel. Chris Paul is in the NBA Finals. What do you think when you hear that sentence? Man, it sounds damn good. Damn good. It's been a lot of work, man. A lot of work. Going to a new team, everybody staying the course. That team fight hard. T. Lou, 
unbelievable coach, Chauncey Billups, my big brother, so many ties to that team. But damn, this feels good. Chris, in this game, there was a point the Clippers cut it to seven. You then scored 14 of 16 points on your way to 41 for the game. What kind of mission were you on? Don't lose. Don't lose mission. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that feel good. I wish my son and my family come down here. I don't know, man. It's just a lot of emotions, a lot of injuries. I was getting an MRI yesterday on my wrist. A lot of shit going on. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just want to get over there with my team, Rach. Respect. Appreciate you. I'll talk to you when I give you the trophy. How about that? Back to you. Please direct your attention to center court for a special presentation. Please welcome ESPN's Rachel Nichols. Thank you so much. The Phoenix Suns. This franchise reaching its first NBA Finals in nearly 30 years. What a run. It is my honor to present the Western Conference Finals trophy to Team Governor Robert Sarver. Congratulations. time 16 years tens of thousands of hours in the gym when no one is watching Chris I saw the tears before what does this mean to you to take in this moment when you think back on all those times man uh, I'm just so happy for all the people around me you know what I mean <clears throat> and to do it here in LA with the Clippers this is my family too I gave six hard years to the Clippers we fought hard. A lot of these fans, Billy Crystal, that's my family. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So to do it here against a team that I got the utmost respect for, I'll always be a Clipper. I love these fans. You know what I mean? But this crew right here, <laughs> this crew right here, this game right here, man, since day one, they opened me, they, they welcomed me with open arms. Coach, we did this 10 years ago in New Orleans. And we still got a lot of work to do, but we're going to enjoy this. And my family up top, I love y'all. Y'all see them right there? That's my game. Straight up. 16 years of this. 16 years. Surgeries. Hard work. Losses. Bad losses. But we're going to enjoy tonight. We're going to enjoy it. You've talked in this playoffs how a lot of people thought when you went to Oklahoma City, okay, well, he's just going to finish his career out that way without another bite at the apple of tasting something like this. Yeah, Rach, I'm going to tell you, I write something on my shoes every game. It's called, it say, Can't Give Up Now. Mary Mary got a song called Can't Give Up Now. I listened to it the day I got traded to OKC. That's yeah. why I write it on my shoes every game. Straight up. Okay, cause we hope 